All right, guys, it's challenge time again. We got the Taurus PT-111 Millennium G2 versus the Winchester USA Forge steel case ammunition. 115 grain, full metal jacket. We're gonna try to see if we can run this entire lot of ammunition without any failures by the pistol, so. I'm not gonna bore you with all the trigger pulling and all that stuff. If I do have a problem, I will start recording the moment the problem arises and we'll see how she does. This pistol's put down 200 rounds of the federal aluminum case without any hiccups and my Glock 19 Gen 4 couldn't even do that. It had like three stove pipes and 150 rounds or something like that. But uh, so far this thing has been utterly reliable. And uh, there's a lot of guys out there that love this pistol, and there's a lot of guys out there that don't like it at all. So I'm one of those guys that likes it. I think it's an awesome pistol for, I got $220 in it. And uh, I really, really think it's, you're, you're hard pressed to find a better pistol at that price point. But anyhow, I'm gonna load these magazines up and we'll get the challenge started. So bear with me. All right guys, I got the first three magazines loaded. As you can see, this stuff is dirty. So this is gonna be a good test on how reliable this pistol is with this dirty ammunition. Now, this is pretty bad. So uh, if this thing gets through this test, this was just from loading the first three magazines right there. My fingers are black, so. Probably going to be a dirty pistol after I'm done, but if it can run through 150 rounds of this stuff, it's, that says a lot for the pistol. So let's get at it. I'm going to try to fire the first 10 round, or 12 rounds on film. So we'll pick it up in just a second. Here we go. First 12 rounds. First 12 rounds, no failures at all. So I'm not expecting this thing to uh, give up yet. This thing is pretty reliable, as far this far anyway. I mean, it eat up brass, it eat up aluminum. I'm sure it's gonna eat this steel right up. So I'm gonna finish these magazines up and I'll get back with you. All right guys, uh, the first three magazines ran flawless. I did have, uh, on one of the magazines, and I had this happen before because the way I use my, ride my thumbs up kind of high up on the side stop here, uh, it did not hold open on the last round fired, which that is uh, probably my error. So I'm going to load the rest of this stuff up and finish this first tray. Alright guys, I got the second set of three magazines loaded and my hands are getting really, really dirty. The pistol doesn't seem to be that dirty yet, but uh, I don't know. I, the first batch of this stuff I, I bought and ran through my Glock, it ran flawless too, but I don't remember ever being this dirty. This is uh, really, really dirty ammunition. So if this thing makes it through 150 rounds of this stuff without any problem, I think it's going to be a a very very reliable carry piece so we'll see how she does I'm gonna shoot these three magazines and I'll get back with you all right guys so far so good uh, this thing's running it chewing it up spitting her out no problems so I'm gonna finish up this here tray probably get into that third tray and see if we can't get this testing done all right, guys, this is the third set of three magazines, so uh, we're starting to get down to the bottom of the pile of ammo. But so far, so good. This stuff is really dirty, man. So that's a big contestant. It shows just how reliable this pistol is. I mean, there's a lot of reliability testing on this pistol out there. I've said it before, this is no... Uh, there's no world-class uh, ammo test or nothing like this. Just one guy's opinion of 
of this pistol and I really I really think that it's got Glock reliability and half the price so far it's been more reliable than my uh, Glock 19 let's get these uh, magazines ran and we'll keep on going Perfect. All right, guys, I ran that set of magazines. No, no problems at all. You can see how dirty that is, man. That ammunition is dirty. But I'm gonna finish this box up and I'll give you my thoughts here in just a bit. All right, guys, I got it loaded. We're gonna do a few more takes of uh, uh, shooting on video here, I guess. See if I can't get this done. Perfect. No problems. All right, guys, I did have another uh, uh, slide issue here. The gun is unloaded, but the slide didn't hold back on the last round on this magazine here. So other than that, twice, this thing had, this thing's ran the 150 rounds of this dirty Winchester steel case with no problems. So all I can tell you about this pistol is I've got probably 400 rounds through it. Uh, the first 200 rounds was the Federal Aluminum. Then I ran about 50 rounds of brass through it, which I didn't video document or anything like that. And then this 150 rounds of uh, the steel case. So, even with the subpar ammunition, this pistol's been utterly reliable. I mean, this thing, it's, it's been a good one. So, that's it for the test today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing, and we'll catch you guys next time.